Introducing the latest addition to our caravanning adventures. The full monitoring and reverse camera system, full 7 inch touchscreen, solar powered, full waterproof camera and the best part is it's so easy to install and fully wireless right through from the rear of the caravan to the cabin of the vehicle. Let's get hitched up here and we'll go off on our next adventure and see how it performs. Out on the highway you can see full three lanes of traffic and so good for reversing the Bike Tango System BT7 Solar from Haloview. Something that I've been thinking about doing for quite a while and that is a reverse camera on the caravan. It's hard to see when you're looking out those tow mirrors and we've got the cheaper brand of the, the Clearview type mirrors that slide out and you can't see behind the van. We've come up with a solution of something that you can actually use as a rear view mirror while you're driving along and then you can use it to reverse into your campsite, your caravan park or your driveway at home. We've had a company reach out to us and provide this product from Halo View. The Bite Tango System BT7 Solar Reverse Monitoring Camera. It's very versatile. You can use it on the back of your caravan. It's magnetic. You can take it off. You can put it on the back of your vehicle for hitching up and unhitching, that type of thing. And the beauty of this is it's fully wireless. There's no drilling, no screwing, no running wires. Quick and easy plug and play install. And I believe a quality product. So we'll get into unboxing it and actually seeing what's in here. We'll get a few tools together and we'll get it installed. Let's get it out of the box. So in the box, you've got a packet here of what you believe is your cleaners and adhesion promoters, instruction manual, and then we get to the good stuff. So we've got your aerials being fully wireless. That's all it works off. No run wires, no run cables, no drilling holes. We have this little ripper. Seven inch touch screen that goes in your cab and acts as your rear vision mirror. So you can mount that on the dash from the windscreen there's quite a few options for mounting, I believe. We've got these. These are the secret to it. Little magnetic mounts. Well, they're not so little. They're very high quality, very strong magnets. So that they'll attach to your caravan or your vehicle, your motorhome, RV. And in here, we have your mounting options for in the vehicle. All quality 3M tape on there. We'll have a look at that later on. We'll get it installed on the van first. We've got this one here, which is suction cup. So that'll go on your windscreen. Here we go, the big solar panel. Look at that, very, very strong magnets. So we'll install that on the roof of the van. Then we come down to the main part of the whole kit. Halo view, magnetic, with a battery inbuilt. And there's your camera, fully adjustable. And it does come fully charged. Now the charging, that's where the solar panel comes into play. That on the roof of your caravan, plugs into the battery to power your camera but that trickle charges the battery pack that's built into here you can also charge it via 240 volts the only thing i can see here so far with that plug is not designed for australian 240 volt power supply with the solar panel i don't think you would need that anyway the minimal bit of power that the camera is going to use that solar panel is going to charge it up no problem at all. And then you've got two options for mounting it and powering it in your cab. You've got the cigarette lighter plug or you've got a USB. So it's good that they give you two options there to be mounting that and powering it in your cab. We'll have a flick through the instruction manual. There you go. Very comprehensive instruction manual. Now let's get up there and get it on. Just before we jump up on the roof of the van, I will show you a list of your tools that you won't need. You're not gonna need any drills. There's no screwing, no holes to drill. Don't need any screwdrivers. Don't need any spanners. You don't really need anything. Everything comes in the kit. How good's that? Just for my peace of mind, knowing that those surfaces are clean, to stick all that 3M tape onto with the magnets, I'm gonna just take a rag up with me, a bit of methylated spirits to give it a good clean to make sure that it sticks properly. Pretty lucky having the patio roof at the back here to work off of. Instead of trying to work off of a ladder, while you're working at heights, always need to do it safely. You don't want to be falling off the ladder. I know plenty of people that have fallen off ladders and ended up with broken bones. You don't want to be one of them. Camera's either going to go on there, but it's a little bit uneven that surface, so I'm thinking stick that magnet on just below there. And the solar panel is going to go just here, which is tucked in behind the air conditioning unit, the roof hatch. So that's going to force the wind up and over it. Not going to have any risk of that blowing off. That was one of my concerns, if it's just held on there with a magnet. And you hear horror stories of solar panels 
blowing off the roofs of caravans while you're driving down the highway, that's not good. I've got full confidence in this magnet that it's going to do the job and hold it on there. We'll get this clean. Just see how that's going to sit, I reckon. That's going to sit on the magnet just like that. That'll go there and then the camera like that with that facing down. Could even go there. I might go up there because it might just give you that little bit extra signal to the front. The signal on the Wi-Fi for these is huge. Lots of feet, but you can also, from the website, get an extender. If your vehicle's a lot longer than ours, I think we've got about 12 metres from the back of the van to in the cab, where the monitor's going to be. If your vehicle was longer, you can get like a range extender that'll boost that signal and you'll never have any dropouts. Perfect, crystal clear vision all the way. In the kit, they really do think of everything. There's wet wipes, do that first. Dry wipes to dry it off, number two. There's a little cleaning cloth. I'd say that's to clean the lens on your camera. And then you go to your adhesion promoter. So we'll start off with number one. I'm done, we'll go number two, dry wipe. Uh, very thorough, you want these to make sure that they're stuck on. You don't want to be losing your camera down the road. Then we go the adhesion promoter. Now there's instructions on the back of that as well. When I installed the solar panels on the roof of the caravan a while ago, there's a two or three step process that you use when you stick it onto fiberglass to make sure that you got the best adhesion possible. So similar type of thing with this. So that's nice and clean and ready for the magnet to go on. As long as that's going to fit on there all right, I think that's going to fit perfect. So that's dry now, touch dry, peel off your 3M tape. There we go, and that is ready to stick on. I'm already stuck to it, see how sticky it is. Center on there. And then, once you've got that in place, put some good pressure on it for 15 seconds, just to make sure you've got 100% adhesion. Nice flat surface, it shouldn't be a problem. Make sure all the edges are pushed in as well. And that is well and truly stuck on. That ain't going nowhere. Now they do recommend before you stick your camera on there, you wait 24 hours. But for the purpose of this installation, I'm gonna just put that on there so we can get the length of our cable for where the sole is gonna go. Now that magnet, that ain't going nowhere. That is solid as. You can pivot that down a few different locations. We'll try it about there until we actually get it all set up and out on the road. We'll plug our solar cable in. While we're going, we'll put the antenna on. Okay, antenna's on. So that sends your signal from there through to in the cabin of your vehicle, front of your motorhome, that type of thing. And we shouldn't have any problem with 12 meters distance from here to in the cab where the monitor's going to be. Same thing with our wipes. Then we'll go adhesion promoter. You can definitely smell it. It's like a resin or something. Let that dry for a couple of seconds. And then for your solar panel mount, you've got the round one. So we'll peel that off. There we go. That's super sticky, that 3M tape. Now, that's where we want it to go. Center. Right there. And then push down on it for 15 seconds. And the next step is, and a very important part, to make sure that magnet is gonna hold this solar panel on. A little bit skeptical about this. Oh, the suction on that, that's, that's going nowhere. A bit of a test. If that was all wind coming up under there, even at 100 kilometers an hour up the highway, that's not coming off. I was a bit worried about that part of it, but nothing to be concerned about. And that, guys, is the installation complete. Took about 10 minutes. Takes more time to clean up and prepare everything and get it ready. About 10 minutes in total. Camera's on, solar panel's on. Now it's time to move down into the cab of the tow vehicle. The caravan's done, and that was the easy bit. Now we're on to the other easy bit. It's all easy, there's nothing hard about this installation, I'll tell you. It's so good. So we've got the seven inch touchscreen monitor. Just having a look at where it's gonna go. Because it gives you the two separate mounting options, you don't want it blocking 
your line of view when you're driving. So I think tucked in there would be quite a nice spot. Good view of it all, because I was thinking you might be able to mount it here, but there's no real even surface to mount it to. So your options of mounting, like I said before, you've got the suction cup one that goes on your windscreen, or you've got the other dash mount one with the 3M tape. Now it could mount it there, and that gives you another option, but it's not very level on this particular vehicle, being a Isuzu D-Max. Got a ridge in the moulding there, so that's not going to work. Now the actual mounting on them is just that little U-shaped bit of steel. On the back of it, you've got that little U-shaped groove that just slides in there, and then you tighten up the nut to whatever angle you want. How easy is that? And then you've got other adjustments there, so it can pivot whichever way. And I think something like that and onto the windscreen is going to work the best for us. So we'll go ahead and stick that on. Make sure everything's nice and clean and dust free. Stick it in the right spot. Centred. And do up the little suction bracket. Turn it on a bit of an angle so I can see. Oh, I think that's the go. I can't wait to turn this thing on and see how it looks. Antennas have got to go on top of there. So we might just take that off again for the time being. We'll screw these on. Being a full wireless system with no wires running through the vehicle, through a plug at your tow bar, your hitch, and then all through the caravan, totally wireless through these little fellas. How good. And they, they bend and pivot to whatever angle. So for now, to get it back on there, I'll bend them over so that they're out of the way. We'll stick that back on where it was. There we go, that's on. We'll see how it works with those antennas being like that. Worst case, we can fold them up so that they're sitting there like that. And that's not going to interfere with your line of sight. It's no different than having your fishing rods on your bull bar and up over the roof when you're on your way to Fraser Island. Now the only other thing we've got to do is power that up. So all you've got two options. You've got the USB plug or the cigarette lighter plug. I've got a cigarette lighter plug right here. We'll plug that in, and in the side, there's the plug that that goes into to power it up. And that is in. I'll tidy all this cable up, and that's it. That's installed. It's time to power it up and see what we look like. We're turning on. There we go. That's come on already. Automatically, it's four channel. I will explain that. So you can have four separate cameras feed into one monitor so you could have a camera on the back of your vehicle another camera on the back of the caravan you can have side cameras there's so many different options with this unit I'm impressed already and we haven't even used it gives you your grid lines for when you're reversing when you're out on the open road that's going to give you full view of what's behind you now you can use it just to reverse only or you can have it powered on all the time so that when you're driving it's like your reverse mirror because we've got canopy on the back of the vehicle, we've got the caravan behind us, there's no way that you can see what's behind you. Even though we've got decent tow mirrors, you still cannot see what's behind you. But that there is powered on straight away, that's usable, just like that. So being full touchscreen, all you gotta do to play with your settings and adjust it and set it up how you like. We'll hook the caravan up and we'll get out on the open road and see how it performs in real life. So I'll move the camera off the back of the van up onto the chassis underneath the tray of the vehicle to try hitching up. This camera is so much better than the old camera that I've got mounted there. Once we get out on the open road and after a quick adjustment of the camera angle, we're away. First little bit out through suburbia, it was just brilliant being able to see what's behind you. Then come the real test out on the highway, merging into traffic with three lanes behind us, you can see exactly what's going on. Then. We made a wrong turn up a dead end street and had to reverse the van back out with that car on the blind side. I could not see it in the mirrors whatsoever, but with the camera you could see everything. Then out onto some bumpy country roads before getting back home after our weekend away. The real test of backing into the driveway where it is fairly tight. You can only see what you can see in the mirrors. Then I got a nice surprise here with the inbuilt microphone. And the sound from Mandy coming out in the cab of the ute, I could hear and see hand signals and hear when she said, Stop! So I will show you how versatile this unit is. 
you can take it off of here and put it onto another vehicle simply by undoing that lead to the solar panel unplug that magnet and your camera comes off now we'll go and show you where else you can put the camera and use it in so many different ways so on the back of the vehicle already have got an existing reverse camera setup which is that there have a go of that versus a quality camera like that but there's got to be a way that you can set that up and use it like that just as a temporary while you're hitching up hooking onto your caravan because it's all aluminium tray it won't stick to it but there is a solution for that with no metal on there on the halo view website if you'd like to check out halo views website i'll leave a link in the description they do make those other little magnetic plates that you can just buy from there and install it elsewhere so you can move this camera from the back of the caravan to the back of the vehicle side of the van anywhere that you like or if it was in a, a truck situation or an agricultural thing that'll stick to most bits of metal and you can place it anywhere and keep an eye on what's going on it does take a little bit to pull that off that's definitely a good quality strong magnet in there but there's not just a magnet in the back there's a magnet underneath as well so another option if you wanted to mount it on top of something or to it so many options but also use this camera for security purposes making sure you know what's going on on the outside of your van through the monitor on the inside and no i wouldn't make a good burglar such a great product with so many uses even for the security side of things like you've seen there being able to see what's on the outside of your caravan if you're in there sleeping and you get a knock on the door in the middle of the night if they're out in front of that camera have your screen on and just see exactly what's going on outside the bt7 solar powered i love it it's great and being out on the road and trying it out just fantastic and makes you feel so safe when you're out there it's not just a need or a want i reckon they should be compulsory to have on the back of all caravans where you can't see out the back and you can see exactly what's going on behind there's no second guessing if there's anyone beside you're in your blind spot when you're changing lanes or merging it's just a great thing and a great investment the kit just comes with the one camera but you can always add more to it up to four and you can see anything and everything that you would ever need to see on any caravan motorhome rv combination as well as your trucking side of things carton materials agriculture there is so many uses for it and just makes everything so much safer when it comes to hitching unhitching reversing into your campsite reversing anywhere for that matter so I've got to say a massive thank you to Halo View for reaching out and supplying this product, which I believe is of the highest quality. From what I've seen so far, the images on the screen, we've had no issues whatsoever with that 12 meter distance from the camera to the monitor in the cab. Get two to three bars of service there. Absolutely no dropouts and the quality of the picture is unbelievable. If you're in the market for a high quality reverse and monitoring camera, be sure to check them out we'll drop a link in the description of this video for their website there's quite a range on there and lots of good products on the halo view website and also you will get five percent off if you use the discount code brandyscape adventures so thanks very much for watching guys i hope you have got a bit of useful information out of this i've learned a lot myself after researching quite a few different cameras and setups and it's one thing that i always thought nah you don't need that she'll be right mate but once you've got a camera on there and a monitor in the cab, you can see exactly what's going on and then she's right. Up until then, it's not right and you're always second guessing yourself. So thanks very much. Don't be that person that falls off a ladder. Don't be that person that assumes everything's right. Stay safe, take care, and we'll see you on the next Brandyscape adventure coming up real soon. Thanks guys. See you later. If you like this video, please give us a like. Hit that big thumbs up button and also hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and you won't miss any of our upcoming adventures and the other videos like these ones on the screen now of our past adventures, tips and tricks and how to's.